Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. So Operation Cosmic Apollo, we need to protect the device. There's a decent amount of supplies up for grabs. It's high explosives and mock squad compatible. We're taking out uh, Sneak, who's got the remote start, mostly for this. Even though these guys take less damage from uh, explosions, I think it's just cars. We'll find out when we look at them. Uh, Sneak, Deadhead, Exhortus, Sikal, Quasar, and Tup Dead versus... Armored Berserker, Codex, Spectre, Heavy Mech, Elite Duelist, Elite Lancer, Advent, Elite Honor Guard, and Elite Shield Bearers, and then plus Mox. So, super fun times. Protecting the device is always a little bit tough, because you're not quite sure how much damage is going on until you're close. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Sky Ranger's looking pretty good. I've been looking at the Manticore a lot from Phoenix Point, and the Sky Ranger's beautiful. I will say, Phoenix Point, though, if you haven't checked it out and you like XCOM, you really should check out Phoenix Point. It's not quite as polished as XCOM is, but man, I've been sinking a ton of time into Phoenix Point and I've been really enjoying it. The more I get into it, the more there's like certain things in there that I would love for XCOM to do, like uh, more of like the freeform action point system. It's really nice. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I can talk about in detail. At some other point. I have a log to read. Suggestive artifacts. Who writes for Spud. Among the shattered glass on the ground was the brain of a codex. It's only corporeal remains. Still giving off wisps of smoke. Tygen dismissively pushed it aside with his foot. It was clearly damaged beyond being of any use to them. I took it back to my bunk as a souvenir. Perhaps I could turn it into an interesting hat stand after the war. Only a few hours later, Moa and I suited up to lead a squad to investigate a set of GPS coordinates dredged from my hat stand to be. It's really nice being able to push that button that says press any key to continue and just know that it's going to launch in and not crash. Like, okay, let's go. Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the data tap. Oh, good. There's nearby. people right on it. That's fantastic. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. At we least we saw where the mock squad was. There are extremely was. volatile materials scattered throughout this area. We need to make sure our troops are clear of any possible explosions. Cola. <gasps> my sight. Is that? Hold on a second. I will reposition. Oh my god. It is Tobias Batch Squad Wipe. If you guys don't know who this is, he is responsible for our shortest XCOM campaign ever. He panicked, threw a grenade up onto the roof, and killed our team. It was fantastic, if you're into that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to kill him. I'm just going to start moving most of these guys in. Already there. Yes, ma'am. What are you guys? Who and where is less important, but fast. Dead put over. Mm. Back here is probably fine. Beat feet. And then, oh, I wonder if I should try and get to that high ground there. This is out of bounds. Eh, if I separate them, then I'm gonna, we're probably gonna find other stuff, and it's just gonna be problematic. Uh, I could do something like this, just to get a small high ground advantage. And then we'll just set up our brace here. Uh, I suppose we could hollow target. Who do we want to hollow target? Does it matter? Might as well put it on. We rarely use it, so... Consider it used. Oh, hello, Heavy Mech. Solid 10 damage. Great. Oh, cool, fire. <laughs> what could go wrong? Oh, these guys are really taking off here. All right, well, there's a couple of ways of handling this. We 
What remote start options do we have? Anything near them? Nope. Okay, so. As you order, Commander. Let's bring him up. Ah, oh, unfortunate. We could homing mine it. Or homing mine them, I should say. It's not going to hit everybody, though. It's the challenge. They're not as tight as they usually are. Interesting. But if we dilly-dally, then... We miss out on... We can miss out on the uh, device, so... Moving to designated coordinates. Might want to drop an acid bomb here. I can hit them all. Hmm. One mine explodes when that enemy takes damage. There was something weird the last time we put a homing mine on. And then explosive damage hit. Okay, let's put it on Rodax. And let's drop an acid bomb here. Some things are getting blocked. That looks okay. He's got that new uh, beam launcher thing, so he's like directing all of these grenades now. Kind of cool, but something we'll have to get used to, I guess. Hello. Bias batch squad wipe. Oh, I bet you she's got uh, fortress. Yeah, she's immune. Okay, these guys didn't even scatter. I'm grateful. Is this overkill? This pretty much deletes the mox, which I'm okay with. Uh, the thing is, we do have a flank here with him. We also have 100% shot there. Sekal has the flank, too. And then so does Quasar. I think if we can use Deadput's uh, rocket launcher now, he's got a lot of other tools. Okay, well, that might change things because this guy, Tobias is probably dead. Rodatz is probably dead. Sandat is probably not. Let's just take the shot. Since the targeting is a bit weird. And then if I can target... Maybe we'll start with Kaz. She's got sustain as well. Do I go precision shot here? Or is that overkill? We have a 50% chance to crit. And we have people that can flank. Let's do this. I'm going to move Seikal in. See if that gives me vision on J. It does. Man, they're all so clumped together, it's hard to see. Okay, I think this should do it too. Let's see if we can hit this, then those guys should all die. Unless he takes, like, the one acid damage. Which is possible, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, he got the crit. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's just secure this. I'll take pleasure in killing squad wipe. Ah, oh, frick. <laughs> He's got sustain too. Okay, okay. okay, well, too bad, so sad for him. She's gonna get to do something. Whoa, hello. Hello, 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 hello. The target is marked. Ready for anything? Not bad. Uh, we do have a frost bomb. Oh, we're getting a glimpse of something over here. Retribution. Not nice. Stasis on who? Ah, oh, dead put. Uh, okay, could be worse. Could be worse. Do I need to frost bomb him? Can't use most abilities here. We have some justice opportunities. Uh, we were able to keep this. That's nice. We'll go for the car explosion. I'm going to come here to scout the... Or get closer to... Oh, nice. We can't actually see it. I wonder if Kaz... Does he have a shot on that? No. We've got the van in the way. We'd have to shuffle him down a bit. Which might be worth doing. Uh, I wouldn't mind using Seikal's um, burst fire here to hammer this guy down. Yeah, frick, we gotta kill her too. First thing, let's do this. Stand clear. Now, we're going to have a ready for anything shot, which is almost guaranteed to hit. This is pretty much a kill. This is definitely a kill, but we only need four damage on that. I need a stock shot as simple as that down there. We could bring him out. If Seikal... How much damage is possible here? 18 to 22, but he's got the armor. Um, let's whiplash this. Oh, are you serious? I guess that's karma. What the hell do I do now? Yeah, well, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to bring Boris over here. I'm not going to use the Frost Bomb on that Berserker. I think we can take him. It'll be close, and we have... Uh, we also have Ripjack, and we've got uh, an Overwatch shot here. So the Codex can die that way. Uh, 
I don't know how I'm going to pull this off exactly. These chances are pretty low. I guess let's try this. If this hits, then we can take a shot at him. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so he dies. We take the shot at the Berserker. Perfect. Weaken him a little bit more. And then Sekal takes her shots. Oh, he's still, okay. The fire's not stopping that, this might hurt. Missed it again. Okay. Do I need this shot? 9 to 11, he'll burn, and he'd have the ripjack again. Hope I, I hope this isn't greedy. Actually, no, plus we'll have the uh, ready for anything. So we take this. He's overwatched, he's got the ripjack. The only thing we couldn't pull off is moving Kaz over to this side to get a visual of the mech who's pummeling our objective right now. Oh, God. Well, no, none of these guys are hitting. Except now he is hitting, so cool. That's great. Okay, mech. Got it. At least we can see the objective now. So that's probably, what, two more? So close. I can handle that. Let's do this. an embarrassing little uh, melee battle we had there. And then what I'm thinking is I'm going to bring these guys out. Done. Quasar's a little bit injured right now. I understand. Distraction at 50? No. This actually might be okay. What I'm wondering is, should I use a Claymore? And try to blow them up? The Let's do it. I don't love that we're in the open, but... His concealment's pretty low. Or his uh, chance to reveal is we got to be pretty right on top of him. Baba. Let's go big booms here. Oh, he lived. wish we could see that other guy, but we've got ready for anything, but I don't think it's a squad site deal. And I should have probably taken that with dead put. Because her shot's going to be more accurate, her overwatch. Let's see what he does. He might come in and missile this group. That would be decent. They're attempting a retreat. Oh, really? Okay. Where the frick is he going? 
At least I got him off the device. Holy shit. Okay. 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 That was not on the shadow chamber. No, it wasn't. That was not in the shadow chamber. What the frick? I go where you tell me. I need to get eyes on. And I didn't. Ah, he joined another group. Okay, that's kind of intimidating. I don't know how I'm going to... get over here in time. Let's take a walk. Roger that. Set four! Gotta be careful of this, I guess. Copy that. Man, how am I gonna stop this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come out, come out. I'm pretty sure you're through the roof there. If I'm not mistaken. You look to be through the roof. Alright, let's check out this bad boy. Nothing. Doesn't tell me anything. High stance, low stance. Uh, I have a banish. That's something. That hits one. The remote start might help here, actually. That hits three of them. Just have to decide if this is the spot that we want to be in. I'm just worried that if this thing comes at us that we reveal here. I don't think it could happen from either side. Let's take this here. Go for a remote start there. Zordus needs to make up quite a bit of distance. Dead put two. Solid copy. Oh. This this frickin' rocket launcher BS. Please. Oh. Are you serious, man? Okay, 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 okay. Let's see how it is. We have the frost bomb. Can we get close enough to use it? Oh, that's not looking good. I'm going. Okay, first thing while we're here, let's do a little bit of smoke dropping. They call actually sees the sectopod as well. Um, good free reload too. And we have steady burst fire. Sneak is still concealed, so I'm going to hope that that remains that way. That's down. This is feeling a little risky. 
I don't even know if we're going to have a frost bomb from here, but maybe an acid bomb. Oh, I do have a frost bomb. That's only going to remove one of his actions, right? He's still got tons of armor. This might even this might be better. Let's do this. If we can try and actually kill him. That's a ton of armor gone. Kills one there. Annihilation protocol. Oh, frick. Ooh. Okay. 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 That's not good. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's not good. Annihilation protocol. So I can't read anything about this, as far as I can tell. Hold on, let's see if the abilities scroll here. No. So it's just like a reaction shot or what? The pinnacle of alien engineering force that cause a massive war machine immediately react to its incoming hits. Thanks to a prototype stealth alloy is so hidden from the shadow chamber. God damn it. Oh, Exordus. It's gonna be toast here. Oh man. That hurts. Well, uh, we do have this. This applies a minus one action. Minus one action stun on hit. And we've got blue screens, but I wonder if this cancels that. Oh, 24. Let's see what happens here. It says he's shut down. So is he actually shut down? I don't know how that works. I think we take the steady burst fire here. What else do I even have? Like, 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 you know. Okay, let's do this because we need the shred. If he doesn't react here, then I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, mind you, <laughs> Exordus. Okay, hold on a sec. How much damage is this? 9 to 11. Is there literally anything that Quasar can do? The only hope would be that maybe I can grapple to this truck. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now. Uh, he's got blue screens. That's a kill. But then we're still just sitting here. So the other option is... How much damage can we take? 13, but we're exposed. He's got smoke, but if he gets hit, he's dead. And Seikal... Actually, if he can get this, then... I could bring Seikal here. Um, I wonder how this would work. So what I'm thinking is, I don't think it's going to work the way that I would like, but if we trigger Fleet Foot and using your last standard action on a move while emergency aid or rapid deployment are active, 
You'll be given an additional special axe point that allow you to use the respective free actions. Um, hmm. It doesn't even matter because I could come up here and heal him for two. I think I would come down this side, heal him, then we're against a trooper and a shield bearer, and we get this kill. Okay, yeah, so let's do this. Plus, his explosion's gonna actually do nothing. Cool, yeah. Just like I, just like I figured. <laughs> just like, just like exactly how I planned. Emergency aid on Exordus here. Then... This is a kill if it lands. Okay. Captain for Jergal. Well, glad we healed. He still would have survived that. Man, this is dicey. Can Kaz see anything? He's super far back. No. Get my free reload here. We'd have two 77s or a wrath and a shot, which I think we'll go for. Nice. Kill him, that removes the shield from the other guy. Two auto loaders, okay. Acceptable, I guess. Can I flank? Oh yeah, we can. Moving as ordered. I'm not gonna mess around. Okay, forge sex pod. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. That, um, that precision shot from Kaz actually came in super clutch there with that shutdown. Um, I imagine that, like, him going into his next turn, I'm guessing he wouldn't be fully stunned, but it seemed to stop his uh, reaction shot, which was nice. I was thinking that his reaction shot might take up that action that was being stunned, so anyway. MVP Kaz, hell yeah. Okay. officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise citizens should not be alarmed that uh Weapon that little melee <laughs> the little blind melee battle in the middle there with uh quasar and that armored berserker what a gong show is it just me or are melee attacks like operate on some different 100% of our shots? Are you serious? I mean, we're taking mostly high percentages, but... I feel like the melee ch chances to hit are just like... Like, you see it on Stun Lancers, Berserkers all the time. I mean, even Deadput. Alright, Anti-Venom Stims, Smokescreen. I really like Smokescreen. 
I really do. Anti-venom stims are also really nice. I like that it removes those other effects too. I think I'm going to take this. Allows your arc thrower's standard stun attack to target and damage mechanical enemies as well as reducing their defense. How much damage would it do? Starts at three and increases as technology improves. I think I'm going to get Medivac here. Advent Subcoiler. Okay, it just counts as a regular Sectopod. I mean, if you're going to build something like that, give me a wreck to break down, you know? Okie dokie. 382 supplies. Uh, oh, simmer. Let's um, do this. If we build this thing, then we get volunteer army, which is basically, I don't know what the chances are of these continent things actually triggering, but certainly having two of them is better than nothing. Even though volunteer army, this is what? Resistance soldiers? So I mean, it's like, Whatever. It's not like you weren't warned about this command. Pass to the hunter. We had some wounded Improved vector rifles. Treatment after that last covert action. With a few days rest, they'll be ready to get back into it. Okay. <laughs> you can see this recon training exercise just being repeated over and over and over. I'm going to take uh, AP here. We can give mobility to somebody. Who's got, like, just crazy mobility? Rogue's already at 15. I kind of feel like just, like, pimping him out. Let's take it. We'll send Iridar. Uh, let's negate soldier wounds here. My followers will lead this action. Another important step forward in our research. Central okay, so gremlins and hollow targeters are able to be upgraded to max. Assassin weapons inspired, specters instant. Referred to by refraction field and arc blaster. Allows stunning enemies at a distance. Equip soldiers to instantly enter concealment. Okay. Um we'll grab the inspired assassin weapons, I think. And then I wouldn't mind, like... The Archon King suit is super sweet. I will send we'll grab these before we do the next Shadow Chamber. Um, it's nice that we can afford this. seems to have a habit of scratching that spot. We're going to get a bunch of supplies here in like a couple of days. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching okay. it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that you're on I really don't want to do another base defense. Success. Let me say Miss shots on officers and priests will trigger return fire. I find, like, because we have so many mods, any type of um, dark event that has specific units mentioned feels, like, a little bit weaker. Okay, let's finish this. Reading you loud and clear. Volunteer army. Very nice. Avenger plotting new course. Let's go over and pick up these supplies. Now, um, I've kind of been talking about it a little bit over the past few episodes, but at this point, like, we're obviously pretty strong. 
Um, there's still a lot of things that we can unlock. But I'm wondering if there's anything that you guys would like to see or to have me do here. Uh, as we head into the last part of the campaign. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I've talked a few times about doing like um, the some themed runs and stuff. Oh, hello. Templars. Help, but with your help, this mission may prove less dangerous. Okay, look at this. Oh, this could get interesting. Uh, first of all, engineer, don't care. Intel, whatever. Th I don't know what kind of marine this is some interesting character name probably i would have to assume that the hunter is going to show and then we've got lost which on paper is fine uh brutes could pose a problem but we have the hive off grid so if these guys i wonder if these guys start fighting the lost could they like infect them and then the lost turn into uh did the loss turn into chrysalids and stuff? This might get pretty disgusting. Setting course hmm. for Indonesia. Let's go take a look. Uh, we definitely want to bring out a sniper with a pistol. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Okay, so let's do something like this. Okay, so Kaz... We're going to bring you for our sniper. I think I want to bring Acheron just for some extra protection. Or, let me see. Who would I bring then for a field medic? I mean, Noodles is super solid too. Uh, who's our colonel that we're going to bring? A mind control would be okay. Both of our Reapers are down. I mean, strategically, it makes the most sense to bring... Um, to bring her, but... Hunter, adversary Reapers, which you don't have. That's great. Close range attacks, which is good. Oh, yeah, but immune to melee damage. <laughs> Frick. Okay. Okay. Immune to melee, but close range. So. I think that means... Shotguns, but it's too bad because we just sent Rogue out on a mission. I could bring Dave. I'll bring Dave. Go Rage Armor, and we'll build out the rest of our squad before we switch anything. Hmm. We could bring Papuanu. Now, Solace... If we go against, like, the... If we go against the hunter and he somehow knocks somebody down and dazes them or unconscious or what have you, we could probably run by them with Solace and bring them up. Mm. I'm going to bring Philly. Use your Haggis weapon. And then do med kits and smokes. We still have that armed intervention. We haven't even tried yet. I'm going to see if we have any upgrades for this. Advanced autoloader, superior laser sight. Yeah, that seems good. I think the other one's giving aim, though, isn't it? Oh, no. Hair trigger. 
Ah, the hair trigger, I don't like relying on. It's so nice when it happens, but it's like... If you're not shooting multiple times, I don't think it's as strong. All right, let's bring Wraith. And he's got Demolition. Let's go here. I'm just thinking of things that we need to deal with the um, with the potential hive stuff. I don't really want to use explosives if I don't have to. This, I mean, this is kind of the same deal. Honestly, it's not that great. Because every time we do this, it's just like lost central. Um, but Kaz can just rip them apart generally the main thing is that when we're dealing with a hunter if he shows up we want to be able to get rid of his cover uh, so we have demolition there but at least we at least we have a demolition right I don't even need to bring grenades I can bring uh, we'll bring a frost just in case and then over here I mean, I guess we'll keep them, just in case. And we'll have this to remove cover as well. If for some reason we're like out of ammo or something. Let's go bio vest. Uh, wind. Take this one, and I'm going to give you Delirium Rounds. Take a Vest as well. Whoops. So we've got our Assault to get up close, possibly. He can Rage Armor in, and then he can uh, Storm Gun for tons of damage. We're going to give him the Talon rounds in a sec. We've got Kaz. Oh, my God. Sorry. We have Kaz for dealing with Lost. We have Philly for healing. We have Save with the Frost uh, and Demolition. We've got a Marine for shooting twice and probably dealing with the Hive. And then over here... Lamtron's kind of close, but I feel like this is a situation where we bring somebody much lower. I'm going to bring Anders. Hell yeah, I am. Let's uh, unequip everybody, because there's going to be some better weapons. Superior stock for you. Advanced stock here. Agus, Plasma Lance, Storm Gun. Uh, I don't even want to launch other weapons, really. Spider Suit is fine. We have, like, Psy Armor if we want it, but... I guess maybe a war suit here just to tank up. Give some options. And then maybe take a vest as well. Just get tanky. Get big, get tanky. He's got no skills. He's got soul fire and stasis. Like, pretty basic. Um, 
That doesn't mean he can't get work in. You know, could happen. Okay, so Chuckles, Deadhead, Philly, Wraith, Wind, Nickname. Wish me